Hello and welcome to the Battalion Marching Orders here at MyNorthBayNow.com. I'm Richard Coffin and today's guest is Ryan Ulihan, head coach of the North Bay Battalion. Thanks for joining us today, Ryan. Well, thanks very much for having me. Well, after such a long layoff, it must be great to be back on the, on the ice and at the rink every day with the team, right? Yeah, you know what? It's, it's a breath of fresh air. It really is. Uh, we can sense the energy each and every day. The, the kids are coming in prepared, ready to go. Um, I think everybody had kind of that buildup of excitement and, uh, you know, we're feeling really good about, you know, being able to be on the ice, being able to be together as a group and, and get moving forward. When you look back at training camp, what, what sort of things impressed you the most? Well, I think just the overall intent, um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, training camp can be different for different people, uh, whether you're a veteran player, whether you're a young player, there's guys trying to make the teams, there's, there's guys you know, just trying to get through it without injuries. But I think the overall intent from everybody, uh, we were pleased with the effort, the compete level, um, because, you know, with, with the layoff, we really feel like it started from day one to have that preparation for October 7th. Um, so we were really happy overall with, with that intent and, and the overall compete level. I guess, you know, looking at, uh, you know, camp is over and the team's sort of out of the public eye right now, but uh, these are still really busy times for you too, right? You've got team building and back to school and practices, obviously. Yeah, it's been extremely uh, busy. Um, we have a lot of players heading off to NHL camps here in a few days. Uh, so especially this week, we've really done a focus on that of our conditioning, our on ice components in terms of our systems, our structure. But then, like you said, it's, it's really important for us to do a lot of team building right now. Um, again, with, with so many new players coming in, with having such a big layoff, we feel that putting an emphasis on the team building factor here early on is going to bode well for us moving forward. So you throw all those components together and every day is just flying by right now. For sure. What, what kind of activities are you, under, are you undertaking? I noticed you went to the Shady Falls there and, and, and brought the team on a hike. And is that is sort of a, you know... A, when you mentioned team building, it sort of brings them all together. Yeah. And that was a, a kind of a beautiful morning there. We just felt that training camp again, long days, you know, double life sessions every day. Uh, so that first morning we got out and instead of hitting the gym, uh, we felt it was kind of nice to take in what our city has to offer. You know, a lot of kids had not done that hike before. Um, you saw the, in the one picture, the rigor mortis trail. Uh, so that was one where, you know, we ran that entire kind of component of the hike uh, which was kind of neat. It was a team building exercise in terms of, you know, not stopping and, and pushing forward, even when there's challenging times. Uh, so that was something we did. Uh, we've had, uh, we've done a softball game as a group together. And then we're kind of calling it, you know, Team Builder Tuesdays, where every Tuesday we got different activities planned and, and things that we're doing here um, for the month of September. Right on. And you talked about uh, NHL development and rookie camps. And does that impact the way you prepare for the upcoming exhibition games or even the regular season with guys in and out? No, it certainly does. Yeah, because, you know, we need to plan uh, what our lineups are going to look like. Uh, we might be short a little bit on that first game. We're not too sure because when guys go off, uh, there's no sort of return flight already. Right. They're going off to make an impression and maybe some of those guys earn a main camp or, or what the case may be. So, um, that's why we're putting such a, a big focus with all of our players with us right now of kind of that team building stuff of our systems component. We're doing that now. And then when, you know, other guys are going to be leaving, those are typically the veteran guys that kind of already know our systems and, and know the expectations. And we'll really be able to have some intimate settings with, with the new faces and a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time. So, uh, all those plans are taken into consideration. And then, uh, you know, being ultimately prepared for October 7th. For sure. But it's, I mean, it's obviously good news that these guys are off to these camps, right? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. And, you know, our opinion is let's have as many of those guys as we can each and every year. Because uh, I feel that, you know, they'll, those guys will come back even more prepared because of the pace that they're going to be at. You know, some of those prospect tournaments, some of the um, development camps they're going to have. I mean, pace is going to be, it's going to be intense. Uh, so those guys are going to come back, hopefully, with with an extra jump as well. Right on. And uh, I guess, um, uh, how would you describe the team you're looking to ice this year? Well, I mean, it's it's going to start with our compete level. I think that's number one. Um, I've said it, uh, you know, for a lot of the time here that the jersey is special. 
And when you put that on, it, it comes with the expectations that we're going to be the ultimate competitors out there. Um, so I think we want to ice a team that's, that's going to play fast and play in your face and be competitive and uh, not be a stop that a lot of opponents want to come and play us. Uh, we've been saying to the guys, you know, the most or, or the fastest thing on the ice is the puck. So everything's going to be about, you know, moving that puck extremely quick. Um, and then when we don't have it, getting it back as fast as possible. So uh, that's that's ultimately the, the, the way we want to play and the type of players we want. With the preseason games coming up, what, what are you looking for there? Well, it'll be another building block for our, you know, sort of our systems and our style of play. So um you you can't replicate things that they will happen in games in practices so you actually do need those games to go through the repetitions uh go through some of those things because guys need to be able to make reads uh pace is going to be fast you're playing another opponent the compete level's got to get up there so all those types of things are, are what we're going to be looking forward to in, in exhibition um you know wins and losses are, are not the ultimate thing or certainly it would be nice to have some success early so the guys, you know, get that belief. Uh, but ultimately, we'll be looking for, you know, those reps and, and those teaching moments uh, for our players. And I guess, uh, do you already have some certain line combinations that really work well in practice or show a lot of promise? And what about defensive pairings? Yeah, well, you know what? It's, it's been so early and also kind of playing into that team building aspect is so far we've been mixing everybody out and in because again uh, with some of the drills that we've been doing it's been nice having maybe a, a first year guy with a fourth year player um, so he can help them along in practice practice runs smoothly that way and, and get get guys talking um, I think there's going to be lots of time through the exhibition games to kind of uh, focus in around combinations and, and deep pairings and things like that uh, so so far in practice um, you know we've been kind of mixing and matching everybody through these teaching days Goaltending has been described as one of your team's strengths. So what are you seeing with their play and, and what are they bringing to the team? Yeah, it's, it's been impressive so far. You know, the depth in net is, is uh, you know, I, I think it really could be, it could be a strength. You know, you've got uh, three capable goaltenders right there, back there. And I think any one of them, we'd feel comfortable in the net. Um, so with that is going to, you know, provide some competition within those guys. And I think they all know it. And uh, I think that's a real healthy situation. And um, we really do feel like the strength of our team is, is going to work from the net out, which is, uh, which is a really good feeling. Noticed uh, lots of rookies on the roster as of right now. Is it, is it typical to have that many at this time of the year or is it uh, something that's different because of COVID? Yeah, I, I think it's a, this is a unique year because, you know, a lot of those players would have played with us as 16 year olds last year. You know, they were assigned players and, and they would have had that year under their belt. Uh, so now what you're seeing, and, and we're seeing it around the entire league as well, is, is there's a lot of new faces. Uh, you know, we've been saying it as, as a staff is there's going to be a lot of scouting early on. Uh, typically, you're scouting the teams and what they're doing as systems and things like that. We're going to have to really narrow in on, on the players because we really haven't seen a lot of these new faces. And um, I think that's just kind of what we're seeing around the league. And that is, you know, just due to the double cohort coming in with with the missed year last year. And I guess, um, you, you know, the the rookies, do you expect them to have a really big impact right at the get go? Well, I think what we're seeing out of camp here early is, yeah, there, there's some guys that can that can really make contributions right away, um, especially that sort of that 04 group, which uh, I think when you're. When you're a 16 year old, you know, coming into the league, it's it's more about getting the feel, getting getting used to the environment, things like that. And then, you know, building your body up to be prepared for that 17 year old year, which is, you know, for most guys, it's their NHL draft year. And, uh, you know, sometimes those guys are physically ready and, and, and a little bit more mature. And, and I think we're seeing that out of our four, 04 group and, and certainly some excitement around those guys. They they produce real well in camp and, and I expect them to, to continue that trend. For sure. And, and I guess, um, you know, there's lots of COVID protocols in place and things like that, but it must be a, a, a sense of things getting back to normal, at least from the team perspective, right? Yeah, there is. And again, that, that's actually, actually something we've been talking about is, is how quickly we feel like the routines have been set in place. Um, you know, you, you don't know how those types of things are going to go coming in. 
but then kind of what we've noticed is that's just the landscape of, of how we're living right now. Um, so it's not a big task to, to have masks on and social distance within our dress room because that's how we all do when we go out to a restaurant or go to a place or, um, you know, go to the golf course or whatever activity we're going to be doing away from the rink. We're doing the same kind of routines and, and things and structure like that. So uh, we do feel like things are, are pretty much normalized, especially since we've all been living this sort of way. And, and if anything, um, you know, feeling really blessed that we can be together and, and, and get rolling here. For sure. Um, you know, the team was showing a lot of promise at the end of the, the last season, 2019, 20, and, and what can you bring from that run into this season? Well, what we've done here is, is, you know, taken a lot of video clips of all those positive things. Um, cause again, like you said, it, it was a really good run. We, we felt like we were on the right trend. We were playing really well as a group. Um, things were, were moving forward. We felt like we were going to make a playoff push. So it, it felt like it was a long time ago, but I think the guys seeing their clips, it kind of makes them realize that, Hey, that wasn't a long time ago. And, oh yeah, I remember doing that. Or yeah, I remember how good that felt on that big win or, or things like that. So we've picked those positive moments and, um, been trying to build from that. And I guess, you know, the goal is always to win. And you mentioned, you know, be a competitive team, but you have certain benchmarks you want to reach this season. And, and how do you get there? Yeah, I'm really careful with that. You know, it's uh, I think we right now we want to get off to a really good start. Uh, that's the focus for our group. Uh, we had a really good meeting a few days ago about, you know, how we're going about these next five weeks. There's five good working weeks until October 7th. And um, I really like to keep the focus that way. And then we break things down in weekends and we break things down in our segment goals. And, and uh, you know, we'll see where we're at kind of a little bit more into the season. Um, but certainly right now we're, we're on track to, to be coming together and, and doing the things that we need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. So, uh, you know, we're, we're certainly optimistic about those types of things. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us today, Ryan. This has been the Battalion Marching Orders on MyNorthBayNow.com with head coach Ryan Ulihan. I'm Richard Coffin. <laughs>